There's obviously a ton of excitement here. At the same time, there's this, there's this element of people who say, you know what, it's a, it's a farce. It's not going to be a competitive fight. How would you respond to those people? Listen, any, anybody who's... I've been saying for years, don't judge a fight till it's over. So when you have a guy who's 28 years old and a guy who's almost 41, um, they get in there and start throwing punches. Conor McGregor is a knockout artist. He can hurt Floyd Mayweather. He can catch him. Uh, the question is, will he? Any guarantees in the contract with um, McGregor that he has to come back to UFC and defend? Because a lot of people are worried that after this fight, he will not come back. To well, he's UFC. under contract. So he's under right. contract with the UFC, and this, this doesn't count as one of his UFC fights. So he'll be back. What if, what if he comes back, you know what I mean? He make the kind of money he's going to make in this fight. Like I said before, I've worked with guys for years who, you know, lawyers and guys who are smart guys, they made a little bit of money and they don't come to work anymore now. So, what, what you never you, know. What have you thought of uh, McGregor's training so far in the ring? What do I think? I haven't seen any of it. I've seen bits and pieces, clips. Uh, the one thing that I stopped doing a long time ago is doubting Conor McGregor. You know, this kid's done everything he said he would do uh, in his UFC career, so... You know, we'll see what happens here in this Floyd Mayweather fight. He's got 12 rounds to hit him, and I believe that Connor will hit him. He will catch him, and if he hurts him, he will finish him. You've been around a lot of events over the years. What do you see this? Does it remind you of anything in particular? Is it? I, you know, I've been a, a, a part of a lot of big fights in my life, and I've been to a lot of big fights in my life. I just this is going to be the biggest thing I've ever been a part of as a fan or. Uh, professionally, it's it's a big fight. Um, you know, it's it's a fight that people are talking about. Oh, this this tour is, you know, for the word sold out. I mean, t you know, there's no more tickets here. London went on today and was out in 10 minutes, and uh, we had to get a bigger venue in Toronto, and uh, and Barclays sold out fast. So um, it's it's pretty incredible for, for a press conference. You know, for for a press conference, tickets going that fast is impressive. What do you think you can grow something like that? You know, the line in Vegas is 4.9 million pay-per-view buys, the over-under. Um, the gate is going to be the biggest gate I've ever heard of. Um, I don't know. It's gonna, it, we'll see. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. But, you know, the difference between this fight and the Pacquiao fight uh, is that, you know, I think that, you know, Floyd being arguably the greatest boxer ever, and you have Connor, who is, you know, massive in Europe, massive in Australia, really big in Brazil. I mean, if, I, I just think globally this is a much bigger fight than, than Pacquiao Mayweather was. Can it be as close to the percentage that UFC is making out of McGregor's purse? Um, everybody who's involved in this fight is pretty happy with their deal, and uh, <laughs> nobody's nobody's leaving bummed out in this deal. So, um, sure. yeah, yeah. It, it, it was it was a really. Uh, in every way, shape, and form, it was such an easy deal to make, which uh, I didn't expect. You know, Mayweather is surrounded by some really smart guys, and when you have smart people involved, you can get deals done. It's getting deals done with people who aren't smart but think they are. That's when it's tough. From uh, the new facility from the UFC, is McGregor actually taking any advantage of the new facility? Yeah, he's coming into town. He's got a setup of his own, but he's going to do some training at the facility too, yeah. Oh.